Hey everybody, Brett from Gulf Coast Sourdough here. Our assistants are in the background right now since we're doing oven stuff. They're going to take a breather. But we have our bread that's proofing here. It's been proofing since we did the last live video about an hour, hour and a half or so ago. Oh, hey, there's our assistant. Hello. <laughs> Can you go with mama? Because I'm going to open up the oven. It's going to be hot. Okay, so we have our loaf here that's been proofing. Then we have the kiddos loaves. So we'll do the big reveal. So that's the one we did. And these are the kiddos ones. They've been proofing nicely there. So one thing about proofing is it's one of the hardest things to judge, honestly, when it comes to baking, because it's just it's just totally a feel thing for when something is perfectly proofed. Basically, um, you can kind of think of it as a bell curve. So right after you shape stuff, you right it's a bell curve of your like how tall your loaf is going to get, which you can actually think of as like a curve with of the height. It's perfect for a bell curve. So. Right after you shape it, if you throw it right in the oven, it's not gonna, it's gonna rise a little bit, but not a lot. Um, basically what's happening is all the yeast in there is recovering from the work you did to shape it. So it's refilling up all those bubbles, um, refilling up the loaf with the bubbles. And so as, it, as the yeast goes, you are gonna let it, it's gonna rise and rise and rise, and then it's, get to the, it's gonna get to this point where it's about as risen as it can get while still holding its shape. And once it goes past that point, it's going to rise so much that it can't really hold itself together anymore. And then it's going to start getting overproofed. Um, so right now, these ones are, I'd probably say they're a little, they could go a little longer proofing. Um, they're not as tall as they can get, but we got to get dinner going and they'll still be pretty good. So we're going to go for it. Um, you can kind of see it's kind of nice that this is a glass pan. You can kind of see all that activity on the bottom, all those nice bubbles down there. So it's definitely, definitely doing stuff. So we have our oven set at 400. Um, it's not a convection. We don't. This is. We don't have a fancy oven. So this is uh, not a convection over anything. Um, just throw it in at 400. Um, I'm guessing these ones will definitely cook faster because they're smaller. Um, this one is probably going to take about 20 to 25 minutes. These probably take more like 15. Um, the important thing is though, if you have even a, just a meat thermometer like this, um, it'll tell you, you want the internal temperature to be 180 degrees when it's done. Um, and you want, if you're gonna do it, you wanna poke it so the tip is in the middle of the dough, of the, well, what will then be bread, hopefully. But um, that's where it takes the temperature, right at the tip. So you want that to be in the middle, and then it should get to 180. That means it's done. And then the hardest part about the whole thing though is, after it's done, it's gonna smell wonderful. You're gonna to wanna to tear into it right away, but you can't quite yet. It's kinda of like, um, it's kinda of like after you cook meat or something and you wanna let it sit to set a little bit before you dig into it. So you wanna let it cool for at least like 15 minutes or so after it's baked um, so that it isn't kinda, of, if you cut into it before that, it'll kinda of just be mushy still cause it's still kind of hot in there, it's still baking. So we're just gonna put this in. Putting it in the oven right in the middle, and then we will take a picture of the finished loaves after they're done and post them on Facebook. So, so thanks so much for following this trip with us. We're going to be doing videos of different topics all week. So if you have any ideas for other videos you'd like to see us do, please post or email us or send us a Facebook message or something. Um, but thanks for watching this little journey here tonight.